artist Eric Rieger often finds himself fully immersed in his art. Rieger, who professionally goes by the name Hot Tea, is the artist behind this colorful sight on New Jersey's Asbury Park Boardwalk. It's rainbow-esque. It's actually supposed to be the sunset and the sunrise with the land and water in between. So I decided to sort of mix all that together into one installation and it being so long, you know, 100 feet long, I thought it was a good opportunity for people, you know, as they're walking to experience all of that. The installation is made up of nearly 6,000 strands of yarn, which can lead oh. to some naughty situations. This is a big old knot. Yeah. You really just have to like pull each thread out one by one. I mean, I know what it's like to untangle a necklace and this is like <laughs> so much worse. It's just tedious, um, takes a lot of patience. There's really no easy way of doing it. All artwork, you know, has its own process and untangling the yarn is just part of this process. Yarn is one of Hot Tea's trademarks. He started off as a graffiti artist, but had to find a new medium after one too many run-ins with the police. And a uh, memory of my grandmother teaching me how to knit, um, you know, when I was like five or six years old, came back to me. And so we just decided to start using yarn. And yarn, it's not going to damage any property, um, you know, like spray paint does. This Asbury Park property, once a casino, was abandoned for years. The casino building is always sort of um, a wonderment to me. And when I had discovered Hot Tea's work, there's a beauty in the movement and the color that I was like, oh, and that would be so cool inside this building with steel and all these cold colors. And, and wouldn't it be nice with the sort of juxtaposition of this something that's alive in this stagnant sort of structure. Jen Hampton is the curator of the Wooden Walls Project, an organization bringing art to the boardwalk. It's an endeavor that began in 2012 after Hurricane Sandy devastated the Jersey Shore. What had happened is uh, there were wooden walls everywhere that there was so some sort of damage to a building. So I said, can I start putting art on these walls? And they're like, oh yeah, sure. Since then, Asbury Park has added some 50 murals, attracting eyeballs and crowds. Hot Tea's work has even become a popular destination for couples about to tie the knot. But those engagement photos will likely last longer than the art. The wind in salty sea air is taking a toll on the yarn. But to artist Hot Tea, that's all part of the beauty. I think the aging of the yarn is a good thing in this case because it kind of goes with the idea of the building. You know, this building has been through so many different stages or phases of, you know, identity. The yarn's going to change. But I think it'll, it'll still be interesting to me and I think people will still find it you know, beautiful in its own way.